hello, hello. Now, with the recent addition of Clan Wars and the ability to rent uh, tier 10 ships to take part in it, the Zao being one of those that are rentable, I figured it was time to make a quick guide on how to utilize the ship to the maximum effect. Now, the current gameplay style that you see is something everyone is quite familiar with when it comes to the Zao. Long range, harassment. Long range, annoying HE spam. Very fast shell velocity, 920 meters per second, and the fire chance if you spec demolition expert and you put on flags, you can reach a pretty damn impressive 23% fire chance per shell. This is of course greatly reduced by tier 10 hulls, so it's actually half of that, but it's still very impressive considering you have 12 guns, and thanks to the shell velocity and the very heavy shells, you can land these shells very easily at range. And of course, when you angle and kite away like this, you're very hard to kill as well. So this kind of frustrating uh, opponent, I think most people are familiar with. But there is a lot more to the Zao than uh, just this long-range HE spam. Uh, particularly one of its greatest strengths, the concealment. Now you can actually reach a very impressive concealment of 9.7 km concealment on the Zao. Uh, that is if you spec for full concealment, which is of course something I highly recommend. Now 9.7 km is impressive because you outspot every battleship, you outspot almost every single cruiser, the only exception being the Minotaur that has 8.9 km. In fact, you have the same spotting range as the Kabarovsk, which is a destroyer at 9.7. So that of course gives you the opportunity to be an extremely good backup for any friendly destroyers. In fact, uh, ideally you want to park about 4km behind the destroyer, as you see here, because that means that uh, when the DD pops up at 9.7km and spots you, he gets spotted by your friendly destroyer at the same time. So usually in these cases when you get spotted, the enemy DD also gets spotted by your friendly destroyer. And these are of course the cases that you want to have happen. Because then you can bring these guns that I already mentioned, 920 meter shell velocity and heavy hard hitting HE, 3.4k uh, alpha HE on this. And when the DD gets spotted you can just blap it. And this gives your destroyer such a huge, huge advantage in any type of fights. Fights that look completely uneven for a friendly destroyer, get equalized heavily when you show up to help them. And this usually forces smokes, forces defensive, and just uh, forces a panicky gameplay from the enemy. Of course, you gotta keep in mind, when you do this, you do put yourself at considerable risk. However, most of the time, that risk is well worth it, because, well, it doesn't matter what destroyer it is, if he gets close to you with these railguns and the HE Alpha, the amount of damage you do is so disgustingly heavy that you can quickly give your team an advantage, and of course, destroyers panic when they see you. And, well, you can see the type of alpha potential you have on these guns, and uh, that is one of the reasons uh, the combination of these fast guns and the extreme concealment is so very, very useful. The impressive uh, shell velocity of 920 meters per second does extend to the AP shells and they also have a citadel damage of 5.4k and great penetration which means of course switching to AP at tactical times can be extremely punishing. In fact, even if you are fighting other ships and shooting HE playing the normal style, if you do spec for expert loader, which is something I recommend, since the reload on the ship is quite long, even with the reload mode you have a 12 second reload, but if you do switch uh, or spec for expert loader, you can switch ammo type in 6 seconds, which means of course if you do see any cruiser about to give broadside, switching to AP and punishing that broadside pretty much regardless of range is an extremely valid tactic and of course a strength that this ship has as our Ibuki fellow here will demonstrate, thinking he's safe being that far away, but you're truly not ever safe from the Zao. Now, while the ship does have extremely strong torpedoes, in fact it has the short-range torpedoes of the Shimakaze, the F3 ones, very fast, very powerful, the firing angles on these torpedoes are so very narrow that usually you want to be using them if you are in stealth, and kiting away because if you try to charge in and use them you have to give so much broadside to the enemy that it usually is not worth it so here's an example of course i know there's a destroyer somewhere in the smoke i give a good estimate and as i'm kiting away as i'm already disengaging i launch the torpedoes behind me and these are usually the type of situations where you want to use it of course if you do have the opportunity to rush someone and use it it is good but usually you want that opponent to be 
occupied with fighting someone else. Because if he's aiming at you and you try to give broadside to use those torps, well, you're in for a very nasty Citadel surprise. Now, when it comes to playstyle of the Zao, you want to be roaming around the map. You do not want to be sitting in smokes, like for example the Des Moines and Moskva are able to do, thanks to having a radar to counter enemy radars, or simply being able to sit in the smoke angled thanks to their turret setups. You have two on the bow, two on the stern, meaning you have to give a lot of broadside to bring your damage to bear, and not to mention your great concealment is wasted if you just try to sit in smokes. So I do not recommend the passive style, I want you to be active, I want you to roam around the map and try to assist your team from surprising angles. Now, consumable wise, first of all, we go for Hydro Acoustic Surge because there's no carriers. And uh, note that you can press this small arrow here to switch to premium consumables. You don't have to pay with the balloons, you can pay with credits. And considering these are clan wars, which are a bit more important, I highly recommend splurging a bit for the sake of your clan. Uh, consumable wise, I do recommend premium repair party shorter cooldown one additional charge and premium repair once again shorter cooldown highly recommended fighter plane or spotter plane is up to you fighter plane gives you additional scouting very useful spotter plane also gives you scouting but at a much shorter duration but more importantly you can use this to punish people trying to shoot you in smokes if you don't know how to use the spotter plane to shoot people in smokes watch well, check my youtube i have plenty of guides on how to punish people trying to hide in smokes and f uh, firing at you Upgrade wise, we have of course main armor and SWAT 1 for more survivability. Special upgrades are not worth it on the Zao at all. Uh, AA guns range I'm running right now because it's a random battle, for, but for ranked I would probably run aiming systems mod 1 for better dispersion. Uh, say we have additional range once again for random battles, but for ranked I do not think we need this because this is mostly used to punish uh, Battleships from range burn them down considering there's only one battleship in ranked You can probably get away with main battery mode 3 for the faster reload Note that while this will cut your reload from 13.7 to 12.1 It will also increase your turret traverse to over 35 seconds So keep this in mind if you wish to play a very brawly close range style Rudder Shift Survival, this is a weakness on all IGN cruisers. You can run the uh, Hydro Acoustic Surge mod as well, this can be very valuable. Which one you want to run is up to you, both options are extremely good. Faster Rudder Shift and of course better concealment. Captain Perks wise, I highly recommend Priority Target, Faster Turret Traverse, Additional, so additional Heal, and Concealment. Once you have the basics, we go for Demolition Expert, Increased Fire Chance, AR, um, the lower HP you go, the faster your guns reload, very powerful. Expert loader, for the obvious reasons, as I showed in the vid. And finally, vigilance, because there's going to be a lot of torpedoes with all the DDs around, and you don't want to be hit by them, because the Zao base health pool is, in fact, quite low. Anyway, that was all for me. I hope you guys enjoyed it.